We've come out for an afternoon dive in late May. Um, as you can see, we're not sheltered where we are here, but with the incoming tide, we're diving at the top end of the island where the tide's gonna be hitting. We're more likely to find fish there and we're more likely to get the clearer water. Looking over the side, you can see the bottom in 15 meters. And it looks like there's plenty of tide running along the weed edge here. So this is gonna be the first place we're gonna start and then we'll work our way back down the island while we still stay in the current.
just got out from our last dive of the day. We had pretty much perfect conditions as you'll see in the footage. Really clear water. You could see fish on the bottom in 20 metres. You'll see lots of different types of bait fish that we're looking for as we're coming along the weed edge. You'll see demoiselles, um, koharu, blue mamau, trevally, sweep and fish like that. The most important ones we're looking for is actually more the demoiselles and the koharu. The bigger the koharu are, the bigger fish we're going to find, the bigger predators. When the demoiselles are higher up in the water column, that's typically because they're stronger current and that's a, better, that's a really good sign. You'll find plenty of fish underneath where all those demoiselles are. Also when you find the koharu are all lit up, you'll see they, they go vibrant yellows. Typically you'll get big kingfish will be in the area chasing them. You'll see all this in the footage and you'll see that we've managed to find plenty of fish on the bottom. We were inundated with plenty of John Dory. There was kingfish on just about every dive. We managed to pick up other species like Trevally and Koharu. It was really great diving. You'll notice when we're diving the weed edges like we were in the footage you're about to see, you watch how it's slow approach to the bottom and you'll see how I scan the area and look around on my way down to see where, where the fish are. You'll find out that you actually don't need big breath holds and long bottom times to get lots of fish. You try locate where the fish are before you even get to the bottom and make your dives as short as possible. If you spot the, the right spots along a weed edge where there's plenty of bait fish like I talked about with demoiselles and koharu, you don't need to dive very often. You wait till you see all the demoiselles then you dive. And you'll find in the footage you'll see underneath the demoiselles is typically where you're shooting the John Dory and typically where the kingfish will come through.